Uh, interesting thing, here. I Sorry, tried to I'm avoid Yoshizawa playing for Let's two reasons small. in particular. Uh, one is because I've beaten the game, major spoilers. Other than that, I kind of have a problem with Yoshizawa in that the fact of it's not her, but more so the people who are infatuated with her. Because anytime I make clips or highlights on, you know, me playing these games, right? There are, there's always like a handful of people that are just absolutely cultish about her Possibly to the point where it just becomes fucking maddening. You know, I get, you know, loving a fictional character and whatnot. I get it. I am I'm not, I'm no different, but I'm here's so the thing. There's a difference between, you know, be, loving a particular character and whatnot and being fucking annoying Keep about it. Now, there's a reason why for the longest time, if you look at my channels, there's a reason why for the longest time I Next actively time. avoided from playing Persona 5 Tycoon until now is because I was surrounded by people who just drove me up a fucking wall with how much they were in love with this red-headed twiggy twiggy fucking simp. <laughs> That's what she's how it is. She's a red-headed twiggy simp. And yet anytime I say anything sort of critical or negative against her, all of a sudden I'm the fucking bad guy because I can't I can't badmouth someone's waifu I can't badmouth this fucking fictional character otherwise I'm Hitler I could say anything I want about Persona 5 but I better not talk shit about this red haired twiggy waifu right otherwise I'm suddenly I'm the fucking I'm a pariah otherwise I'm the worst fucking person I fucking and this is why I like this is why I've actively strayed away from talking about anything about Persona 5 for a while, and this is why I've strayed away from playing Persona 5 for a long while, is because I just do not have the patience or the time to deal with these fucking people who just decide to walk in and just be annoying. If they see this, they're gonna try and force their own agenda on me. It's like, oh, so you just fucking hate Yoshizawa. Oh, you just fucking hate Persona. No, I don't. I don't fucking hate Persona. I don't hate Yoshizawa. I just hate you. So the people who are, you know, enforcing, like, their particular agenda on me and people who are deluding themselves into thinking that because I say anything bad about a character that ultimately means that I fucking hate them or anything critical, that ultimately means that I'm fucking hate them and I don't no. have anything I say them. No, I don't hate them. I don't hate that character. I don't hate that game. I just hate you. Anybody in my shoes knows what the hell I'm talking about. There are just so many people who don't have like these social cues or don't understand when something gets too annoying to shut the fuck up about it. And people would say, well, maybe you should say it much more nicer. That's not, that, that, that defeats the point of criticism. But the point of criticism is not to treat the series as if it's like, it's untouchable or try to be nice about it. No, it's to be critical about it. Just because you like Sorry. something doesn't mean you can't like, criticize it for its flaws. And if you don't think that what you're thinking of is, isn't criticism, that's just blind devotion. That's a cultish mindset. And I ain't for that. This is why I particularly don't like to have many conversations in terms of criticism about Five. It's because any time I do, I get at play. least one person who doesn't understand criticism. It doesn't understand how to be reasonable. critical and enforces their own narrative and opinion onto what I was trying to say. And in question why I don't talk about this shit. Like, they begin to question it. It's just like, you know why I don't fucking talk about this. You just don't want to admit that it's you. Like there are people that have, have their head so far up their ass that they can't even begin to see why they're the fucking issue. And yeah, I understand, I'm not perfect. I'm not a picture of grace under fire. I have my issues and I am not always correct or anything. I'm not aiming to be. I'm just trying to get my thoughts out there and have a discussion. But there's but when it comes to stuff like JRPGs like Persona, there are so many people who just don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care about having a discussion. They don't care about respecting one's opinions. No, they don't care, even care about fucking criticism. They want to be right. And I ain't for that. I don't give a fuck about being right. I know that's hard to believe considering a number of times I have tried to call out people and try to be right, but that's only because they pissed me the fuck off.
I just want to have a discussion and talk about I what I enjoy, here. but I can't because apparently I know too many people who just don't want to go down that route. I haven't said the Persona fandom as a whole because I'm actually friends with people who legitimately do have a similar mindset in the, that, yeah, they're critical about actually critical of our persona and yeah i don't agree with them always and they don't agree with me always Do you but know your next move? we're still respective towards each other then Something we're still like good with else. each other i'll give you an example i was in discord server and we were in we had this uh thread open for persona 5 royal and whatnot only like three people were actually talking about it and the three hard. people were still just talking about the same stuff from Royal, so on and so forth, so much. It's It was a broken fucking record. What's I hated scheme? it. There were like 12 or 13 people in that actual thread. And there were only three people talking. And I talked about, and I mentioned how pretty much I thought that there wasn't anybody else talking because it was the same points over and over again. It was the same points on Persona 5 Royal, it was the same points on the third semester, and nobody wanted to talk about it because it was a broken record, and ultimately, you couldn't say anything critical about it, you couldn't play, you couldn't be defensive about it, you couldn't have a different an opinion about it. How was I met? If you don't like the conversation, why don't you just leave? What's the hold up? It's missing the fucking point entirely. And that I want to have a conversation. Now. I want to discuss this game, but okay, nobody wants to talk about anything different. Like, okay, 